Bethlehem was a city, like many cities in the Northeast, that was based on manufacturing jobs. In our case, it was Bethlehem Steel. Well, it was very much a blue collar town. Much of the activities in the city centered around Bethlehem Steel. Here in Bethlehem, with the town revolving around an industry, so went steel, so went uh, this community. The Bethlehem Steel site is a massive 1,600 acre uh, industrial site that was the heart of Bethlehem and the heart of Lehigh Valley. It employed tens of thousands of people in its heyday. What happened when that company went bankrupt and closed, the community and the corporation kind of came together and said, what's next? What are we going to do with all this land? I can remember when uh, Bethlehem Steel was a major employer. Parking lots were filled with cars uh, every, at every shift change because it was 24-hour operation. Uh, many cars were leaving, many cars were coming in, literally thousands of cars parked and employees walking across the street to go into the plants. Because Bethlehem Steel is such a big part of the community, when it came to talking about redevelopment and reusing the buildings and reusing the site, Everybody had different opinions, I guess is the best way to put it. And so there's a, a real balance between preservation and progress here. And they, they walk that line. The future of this community, the future of the city, rested on our ability to remediate and drive reinvestment back into that site. Thanks to the leadership of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, Bethlehem Steel was able to work in that public-private partnership context to, instead of planting this area in grass and putting up a fence and walking away, we were able to develop a plan. For the Lehigh Valley Industrial Parks to take on the biggest site they had ever undertaken. Prior to this time, our largest site was maybe 200 acres. And it was Greenfield, it had no problems. Now all of a sudden, to take on the task of saying, we're going to take over a thousand acres filled with abandoned buildings and remediation issues was in essence really daunting. There was a lot of discussion about can we do this? Are we able to do this? Can we make it successful? Uh, will we fail? We had never failed before and that was something that was of dramatic concern. At the federal level, at the state level, at the local level, Everybody did their part and, and brought as many resources to bear and expertise to bear as possible, the private sector, the public sector. The site was too massive, brownfield redevelopment is too complicated for any one particular entity to take it on. It was through that partnership that we were able to be successful. Working with the state was uh, excellent. The, um, in fact, the state of Pennsylvania should probably be the poster child for the rest of the country. You know, we, we work all around the country and this, is, this has been by far the, the best experience we've ever had. These are sites that are already within the urban infrastructure. They are sites that have facilities next door to them. They are wise use of our urban fabric and not going out and despoiling unused lands that are maybe are used for agricultural purposes that we ought to preserve also and we're infilling abandoned sites within our urban areas. Bethlehem Steel did things in a big way. Some of these structures we're taking out underneath are 12 to 15 foot tall. They're all being broken up and reground and recycled. And we're gonna be somewhere around 90, 95% recycling of everything we're taking out here. I hope that this site really becomes the hub of the community again. And it's well on its way. It has a nonprofit arts group that's locating on the site. It has a skate park. It has a community college, and as those things really kind of get built out and come into their own, I think it's going to be the heart of the community again. It's very clear that Bethlehem is not the Bethlehem of my childhood. It's not my father's Bethlehem. It's not my grandfather's Bethlehem. It's a Bethlehem built on uh, 21st century jobs and built for the future.